Lincoln is in the midst of a brand reinvention, desperately needing more sales. The company is after a younger, more diverse customer, one that would usually drive, say, a premium import vehicle. First came the MKZ midsize sedan, and now comes this, the MKC compact crossover. In a somewhat confusing trim structure, the MKC is available in three levels that starts at Premier, goes up to Select, and then tops out at Reserve. Base models come standard with a 2.0-litre turbocharged four-cylinder engine that makes 240 horsepower and 270 pound-feet of torque. It can be paired up to either front or all-wheel drive. Optional is Ford's new 2.3-litre turbocharged four-cylinder engine that, in this application, will make 285 horsepower and 305 pound-feet of torque. Unlike the smaller engine, this one is only offered with the all-wheel drive. No matter which engine or drivetrain you select, the MKC will come equipped with a 6-speed automatic transmission. Base front-wheel drive 2.0 MKCs are rated at 20 miles per gallon in the city and 29 miles per gallon on the highway, while the all-wheel drive 2.3-liter version is expected to return 18 miles per gallon in the city and 26 on the highway. The entry-level Premier 2.0 front-wheel drive starts at $33,995 after destination charges, while the top-of-the-line Reserve 2.3 all-wheel drive begins at $44,565. The MKC is built on the Ford Escape platform, however, Lincoln's engineers have gone to great lengths to make this vehicle look different than its Ford sibling. Almost an inch has been added to both the front and rear track to give it a wider stance and a more aggressive appearance overall. And honestly, except for a large front overhang, there's nothing on this vehicle that looks like the Ford Escape. Up front is a split wing grille that is unmistakably Lincoln. In the back, there is a new wraparound liftgate that uses foot-waving hands-free accessibility. LED projector lights illuminate the ground from the mirrors when you get close to the vehicle. This seems to be all the rage these days. Other options include an all-glass Vista roof and the choice of 18, 19, or 20-inch wheels. Front and center to the driver is an all-new Lincoln steering wheel that is debuting in the MKC. Now this wheel will find its way into every Lincoln model down the road. It isn't exactly memorable or the most stylish out there, but it's not offensive. It's just a good, solid unit. What is memorable, though, are these soft, comfortable, bridge-of-weir leather seats. As should be expected, this is a Lincoln, so there's push-button gear selection over here beside the center console. Now, it may be a bit gimmicky, but it does give the Lincoln a unique identity. Proving that Lincoln does want to indeed attract a younger customer, there's built-in smartphone connectivity, and it allows owners to lock, unlock, or even locate their vehicle through the My Lincoln app on their smartphone. For audio files, the MKC can come equipped with the THX2 surround sound audio system, but my favorite part of the audio system is that there's actually a two knob included with this version of my Lincoln Touch. Back seat space is a little on the small side, only offering 36.8 inches of rear legroom. Adult passengers will fit back there, but it is a little cramped. The trunk offers a very square 25.2 cubic feet of cargo space, and with the rear seats folded down, this expands to over 53 cubic feet. All MKCs equipped with all-wheel drive come with continuously controlled damping. Now what this does is it gives you a nice balance between comfort and minimizing body roll in the corners. But if that's not enough, you can manually adjust which version you'd rather have, comfort or sport. Now we haven't really noticed a big difference between the sport mode and the comfort mode as far as ride comfort and handling go, but sport does more than just adjust the suspension. It also changes the transmission mapping, the throttle response, and the steering feel. And you add it all up and it's actually a really solid package. This crossover becomes pretty nimble. As crazy as it may sound, this Lincoln's engaging to drive. That is until you take a corner a little too fast and it reminds you this is indeed a crossover and not a sports car. Of course this vehicle comes with all the latest safety technology which includes crash detection with braking, blind spot monitoring, a lane assist feature, and rear cross traffic alert. Also, since it's part of the Ford family vehicles, it has the Park Assist feature, which not only helps you get into a parallel parking spot, but will help you get out of one as well. 
Weighing between 3,800 and 4,000 pounds, the two turbo engines have their work cut out for them, but the 2.3 liter is up to the task. It has almost zero turbo lag and provides power at any RPM and any speed. The more I drive it in this vehicle, the more I think how awesome is the 2.3 going to be in the new Mustang. The MKC isn't single-handedly going to get people to stop associating the Lincoln brand with things like their old lumbering sedans or the Mammoth Navigator, but it is a step in the right direction. Will it be enough to conquest customers interested in the Acura RDX or the Audi Q5? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain, Lincoln has a legitimate compact crossover contender.